Here's Nate with his headache and motion sickness. Heading back. The wind was calm and switching 180 degrees, so we decided to go back and try the next day. <laughs> Humans have been sailing for thousands of years, and we've been watching videos about people living aboard sailboats and going on epic adventures since the start of video sharing. But what if you want to have a piece of that adventure and you don't have the money to buy or rent a cruising sailboat? One of the surest ways to make sailing adventures more in reach is to approach it like a kayaking trip. Sleeping in a tent and cooking over a camp stove is way cheaper than most any sailboat with a cabin and galley. Do more with less and get out there. <laughs> Woo! We made it to the Slate Island! Join us on this adventure as a new group of six yeah. friends explores the Slate That's Islands the in the Canadian right? waters of Lake Superior. Sailing the Slate Islands, we've got Deb, Roger, Bob, Nate, Logan, and myself. That is a steep beach. Uh, it is a steep beach. Oh, The Slate Islands were formed by a meteorite impact, resulting in picturesque rock outcroppings. We hung a piece of floss as a telltale for the light wind days. <laughs> When you have no wind, you rely on the boat with a motor. Live deer or dead deer? Yeah. Dead deer? Wow. 65 dead deer on the side of the road. Bob brought a solar panel to charge his electric boat motor. The timbers remain from a logging barge that ran aground in the 1930s. The GoPro Hero 7 Black seems to have great noise detection where you can hear us talking from 27 feet up the mast. Where you at, Logan? You're gonna miss your ride. We're gonna pass you. Whoa. Hi. We're beaching to scope out the tub for the next night's adventure. <laughs> Leveling the sloping beach for camp. We set up camp and went for a sail together to this old copper mine. Here's our beachside camp. Okay. They do a bow hunting season in city limits in Duluth. Oh, do they really? Yeah. Wow. Mm. Nate is going to clean up these five buckets from Lake Superior. In three, two, one. Three, two, one. He actually did it. We're full of concrete. <laughs> we'll pick them up. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you think these were for ships, <laughs> logging, or something else? Comment below. Juggling on the boat is a bit more difficult than on land. All your training has led you to this moment. <laughs> Heading out for a day sail into the waves. <laughs> nice. You gonna stick your butt in the water? <laughs> <laughs> the pontoons aren't meant to ride on, but they do provide a nice vantage point. <laughs> 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 At what point do I release it? Go around, yeah. <laughs> we did a little cruise switch. Tied up Nate Hobie and went on to explore. <laughs> this campsite comes with a tub and we just propped it up on these rocks and an old piece of a railroad tie over here. Nate is uh, chopping a branch for a plug. It's got a big crack in the thing. <laughs> The tub and rake are remnants of a deserted cabin and lighthouse. Yeah, that is crackling fire. All right, so we got this hot tub figured out. Yeah, this is a cast iron tub from an old lighthouse, <laughs> and, and we're cooking Don't Deb. She even has her wine. 
Nate's turn in the tub. Nate, what do you got floating there? Mm, just a bowl of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> oh. Can't beat this. Bob's turn in the tub. Roger's cooking alive. <laughs> Logan is the last human soup. Captain Bob. Hi. First mate Matt. <laughs> and I don't know what I'm doing. The Hobie 16 is considerably faster than the getaway, but the getaway does beat it out in comfort. You're stealing a win! Oh! All good things come to an end, but I'm thankful for the adventure and the company. If you're looking for more small sailboat camping trips, then check out one of these videos. I hope you consider liking and subscribing to see more content like this. <laughs> There's always an adventure in your reach. All you have to do is find it.